we will integrate tangent to the fourth power x. So remember, for the identity that we have, we only can substitute tangent squared, and then that will become secant squared minus 1. So let's break down the tangent to the fourth power as tangent squared times tangent squared. So this is the same as integrating tangent square x times another tangent square x, which altogether will be the fourth power, and then we still have the dx. And let's look at this integral. Let's look at this tangent square. Tangent square is the same as secant square x minus 1. So I would like to do that. Let me just make this into the secant to see what we can do afterwards. And then this will be the same as the integral. I can take the tangent square and then distribute it into the parentheses. And then I'm going to have two things inside of my integral. So in another word, I can break it apart into two integrals. The first integral will be tangent squared times secant square x. So let me just put this down. This is tangent square, and then we have the secant square x, and let's close that. Put the x right here. And the second integral will be tangent square x times negative 1. So that will be minus integral tangent square x. And let's put the x right here. And I claim this, we can do it, and so is this. Well, to solve this, what we can do is, we are so lucky because we have the secant square to help us out. We can use the substitution right here. Let me just going to do it on my side. Let me just say that u equals to tangent, because right here, this is the expression in terms of tangent. u is equal to tangent x, so we can differentiate both sides. du will be secant square x dx. So as you can see, this integral will be immediately, we have tangent, which is u, tangent square, which is u square, and then you see secant square x dx. That's exactly the same as du. So you can just make the change. So to integrate this, this is just one third, u to the third power, and then u is equal to tangent. So we can just make the change again, one third tangent to the third power x. And that will be it for the first integral. So this right here is going to be one third tangent to the third power x. And for this one, you can check out my um, like two videos ago because we did this already. And to do this is also pretty easy. You look at tangent square x as secant square x minus one. Okay, and then this is technically instead of the integral. All right? So don't forget to distribute the negative into the parentheses and let's work out the integral. What's the integral of secant square? The answer to that is tangent. And that's a minus, so it's minus tangent x. How about one right here in the x world? The integral of one is x, but this is a minus, minus, so it becomes plus x. And we're done. So this is the answer for the tangent to the fourth power x. That's it.